Here's part two on how to solo the Cold War D Machine Easter egg. All right, so picking up where we left off, after you just built the Aether Scope, you're gonna wanna go ahead and interact with the brand new portal that should have just spawned near the med bay. Now turn around and run back into where the computer is where you can now pick up the diary on the desk. Now for this next part, you're gonna need to interact and then give this book to three different ghosts. I will show you the three different locations. You can do these in any order. And while you're standing there, the ghosts, the zombies do not see you. Now the first ghost is going to be directly underneath you. Go ahead and interact with the ghost and then give it the book. Go ahead and turn around and hop up on the ledge and go into control room where another ghost will be waiting for you on the right. Go ahead and interact and give him the book. Now, the final ghost will be in the particle accelerator room in front of the crafting bench. Go ahead and interact and give him the book. Now, you can just stand here and wait for him to stop talking. You will not be harmed by any zombies. Once done, it's going to return you back and you should be able to go back to the computer in med bay and interact with it now. Okay, now is where the wonder weapon really comes into play, but it's okay because I had you do a lot of prep already. So, you should have filled both the flask and the green canister. So, go ahead and make sure that you've grabbed them both. Go ahead and take the flask back to the medical bay where you should now be able to pour it on this tiny box here and it will unlock the chains. You've now unlocked the cryo emitter upgrade. You're going to want to equip this upgrade and shoot the four cylinders on the containment pod above you until one of them rises up. Next, take the filled canister up to the crash site where you're going to want to interact with this small box here against the wall. You will then want to melee or shoot the canister and it will cause it to explode. You can now interact with the box and get your Nova 5 upgrade. Go ahead and take this back down into the med bay and shoot another cylinder until it raises up. Now go ahead and run back up to pawn. There should now be a portal there. If not, you may need to go around or two. Enter it and go back down into the weapons lab. You're going to want to drop into the pit and interact with the box and the laser cutter on the wall you see here by the staircase. After a second or two, it's going to return you back to normal. Now you want to head back up to pawn and interact with the small box on the back of the truck. This will give you the thermo upgrade. Now, of course, take this back down to the med bay and shoot another cylinder until it raises up. Now, I've saved the best upgrade for last. You're going to want to go ahead and re-equip the frost upgrade. Then you're going to want to go underneath the particle accelerator to this new portal that should have spawned. Now, enter it. And inside here, you're going to need to absorb three crystals around the map. Now, these crystals are always in the same spot. I will show you where they all are. It is possible to get all three crystals in one go, but it's not necessarily easy. Regardless, one is going to be on top of the starting building. Go ahead and absorb it. Run back to the box and shoot it at the box. You'll know you've done it correctly if one of the three bulbs lights up. The next one is going to be in pawn on the rocks opposite the quick revive perk. Go ahead and do with this one the same same thing you did with the last one. Now for the last crystal, you're going to want to go to crash site. It's going to be on the right near the entrance to the tunnel from the beginning. Go ahead and absorb this one, bring it back down to the box, and you should now have your electro bolt upgrade. Now with this final upgrade, go back to med bay and hit the final cylinder. Now at this point, I highly recommend getting a Semtex or a C4 if you don't have one already. Now with all that done, go back to med bay and you should see a new portal has spawned. Go ahead and interact with this portal and you should now have a ghost waiting for you on the top floor of med bay. Once he's done talking, it will return you to normal and you're going to want to pick up the wrench that will be in front of you. Go ahead and head back to the starting area where you're going to want to interact three times with the tank. What's going to happen is a zombie is going to pop out the top hatch and you're going to want to either take a Semtex or a C4, throw it at the hatch and blow it up. If done correctly, the tank will fire. You can then now go back to crash site where a bronze orb should be waiting for you on the ground. Now be warned, when you pick this bronze orb up, it will slow you down. However, if you're walking backwards while watching the mini map, you can move much faster. Now I understand this might not be for everybody, but regardless, you're going to need to take this back down to med bay and insert it into the open slot in the wall. Next, you're going to need to get a megaton, split it and get both halves under the the containment pod in the med bay. Once both halves have been absorbed into the pod, you can then go up to the computer and interact with it. Here, you'll now be safe for a few minutes as you listen to the NPC talk. Now, once those doors open, the last step is just to get ready for the boss fight because things are about to get real. So here's where you're gonna wanna make sure you are perked up, packed up, got yourself revives, maybe even a death machine, and you're good to go. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and head back to the starting area and inside the main building on the first floor, you should now have a brand new portal. Go ahead and enter it and go back to the main starting room where you should now have a new ghost to interact with. Once he's done talking, interact interact with the picture on the table and it will teleport you into the boss room. Now talk with Orlov one final time and then he's going to go around to three different machines and you're going to be tasked with protecting him on all three machines. Now, this fight isn't terribly hard. Orlov does have a good amount of health, but you still will want to make sure that you keep the zombies off of Orlov as best as you can. Now once all three are done, he's going to give you one final speech and the doors are going to open. Now when these doors open, you're going to need to run out to the pond area. However, there's going to be beams of light spread out everywhere around the map. These will kill you if you walk into them. So make sure and try to follow my path as best as you can. In this video, I couldn't make the jump over the gap for some reason, but don't fret. If you can't, you can still climb up here. You're going to want to make your way out of med bay, up the staircase to the right, back through tunnel, and make your way through crash site. Be sure to follow the path you see me taking here all the way to pond. When you get here, you might have to wait a couple seconds, but the helicopter should show up. Just hop in, and congratulations, you've now beat the machine. Now, let me know if you guys want me to do Firebase Z as well. I'll get that video up in the next day or two. Otherwise, if this video helped you out, please hit that like, and do not forget to follow me so you guys don't miss out on any upcoming Zombies content. Otherwise, see you guys around.